Modern international trade relations are based on credibility and the spirit of a contract. However, in the year-long China-U.S. trade negotiations, Washington repeatedly reneged on its promises and played face-changing. Its credibility has been soiled. Last May, during Chinese Vice Premier Liu He's visit to Washington, China and the U.S. agreed not to engage in a trade war. But only days later, the Trump administration said it would impose a 25% tariff on 50 billion U.S. dollars worth of Chinese imports, which contain industrially significant technology. Soon after the recent setbacks in China-U.S. trade consultations, the Trump administration, in the name of national security, wrote out measures to hit Chinese tech firms. The White House's executive order will kill many business contracts between Chinese and U.S. firms. In a poll published on Xinhua's Twitter page, 37% of participants hold that Washington's real aim to ban Huawei is simply to contain China, the most chosen among four options. While the U.S. is narcissistic about its art of deal, its tainted records in failing to keep its own words is alarming. In China, it's not the first victim of America's acts of bad faith and trade bullism. For over a year, the U.S. side has wielded a big stick of protectionism and coerced many of its trade partners, including South Korea, Canada, and Mexico, into renegotiating their long-existing trade agreements. These bullying behaviors have sent a clear signal one can arbitrarily tamper with the contracts, regardless of the interests and concerns of its partners, as long as it has the power to do so. The logic of gangsters or the lull of jungle, isn't it? When Washington decided to impose steel and aluminum tariffs on the EU last year, the European Commission said the EU believes these unilateral US tariffs are unjustified and at odds with World Trade Organization rules. This is protectionism, pure and simple. In another Twitter poll conducted by Xinhua recently, over a third of the survey believe that mutual respect is the most valuable feature of major country relations under any circumstances. It is followed by cooperation, mutual trust, and non-conflict. Unfortunately, it is not the lesson learned by the current U.S. administration. America's bullying actions have gone far beyond economic and trade realms. Since the Trump administration took power, Washington has backed away from a string of major international agreements and multilateral bodies. The Paris Climate Accord, the UNESCO, the UN Human Rights Council, and the Universal Postal Union, and so on. The self-serving moves have disgraced Washington's credibility as a responsible major country and seriously eroded the foundation for international cooperation. In the aftermath of the World War II, the U.S. helped establish the existing global trade and finance order. It has benefited enormously from such a system that is based on the dollar supremacy. However, Washington is in no way justified to abuse its superpower status. Instead, it needs to fulfill its duties as an equal member of the international community. The U.S.-led international order may collapse once Washington's credibility goes bankrupt. This dangerous prospect is in no one's interests.